So hello ladies and gentlemen, karibu tena kwenye DNA Academy Highlights. Na leo tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kuweza kutoa elimu kama ilivyo kaida yetu. Sisi kama DNA Academy, kazi yetu kubwa si ni kukupatia exposure, kuweza kujua ulimwengu wa ujasanani kwa njia ya digital, especially unataka kudeal na cryptocurrencies pamoja na blockchain ecosystem kwa ujumla. Ni vitu gani ambavyo unatakiwa uwe makinavyo and all that. We are not here to hype, we are just here to maintain the standard and professionalism to make sure wewe ambaye ni mwana DNA basi unapata kile kilicho bora zaidi. Kumbuka tunatoa nguvu na encrypted wallet, moja kati ya wallet bora kabisa ambazo kama ungependa kujenga portfolio zako za digital assets, basi I think this wallet is going to be the best for you kwa sababu kupitia hii wallet unaweza kutunza sarafu zako, eh, kupitia kwa kubai na kuhold lakini pia si hivyo tu. Unaweza pia uka swap kwa mmoja na kwa nyingine, ukamtumia mtu uh, digital assets zako na wewe ukapokea, ukacheza games ukatengeneza passive income kutokana na zile asset ambazo unazimiliki eh, kwa njia ya staking pamoja na yield farming. Kwa kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo unaweza uka benefit kupitia wallet ya Encryptus ambayo inapatikana Play Store ama App Store. Eh, kwa unaweza ukatembelea pale kwa download lakini pia ukiona kama ni vitu vigeni sisi DN Academy tuko hapa kwa ya kupatia elimu ili uweze kufanya maamuzi sahihi. Lengo kubwa likiwa ni kuwezesha wewe engagement yako na ulimwengu wa ujasiriani kwa njia ya kidigitali especially remember cryptocurrencies uwe na maximum profit possible lakini pia uwe na low risk possible kwamba kuna some of the risks ambazo hautakiwi kuziingia kwa sababu hazina ulazima kwa hiyo unaweza kazi minimize kupitia maarifa ambayo utayapata kwa sababu utafanya maamuzi sahihi ukiwa una uelewa wa vitu vingi so let's get back to our class today so leo kuna kitu ambacho nimeona ni niseme ah uh, wakati tunakaribia uchaguzi wa Marekani nadhani niliongea vitu vingi sana ambavyo vilikuwa vinaonesha kwamba we are going to the next level of adoption of our crypto industry. Sasa <clears throat> kutokana na, na kwamba nilikuwa natoa hivi vitu, of course I wonder why at that time people were not even interested. Tuna changamoto kubwa sana ambayo tumekuwa tukifanya makosa kila wakati. I'm speaking this kwa sababu nina experience ya bull run kadhaa, uh, tokea nimeanza kuengage na cryptocurrencies na nimekuwa nikiona watu wanafanya makosa yale yale every single time. Nikianzia toka 2017, 2022, Yani we are still doing the same same mistakes. I don't know why. I don't know what's the issue, but I think what wengi sana hawafanyi vitu kwa sababu wanaelewa ila wanafataga upepo. Social approval ndio kitu ambacho wanatumia kufanya judgment na wakati in a bigger perspective na kwa lazima la maamuzi ya uwekezaji. Huwa ni kitu personal kwa sababu lazima uangalie in your personal level what are you going to gain or to lose with your engagement with a certain uh, uh, venture ambayo unataka kuifanya. Sasa let's get back to this. Uh, kama nilivyokuwa nimeongea nadhani niliweka uh, some of the updates ambazo zilikuwa zinaendelea kupitia uchaguzi wa Marekani na nimekuwa nikireport several times kwa wale watu ambao wananifuatia nadhani wanajua na nimekuwa nikiongea since even hata halving haijatokea nilikuwa naelezea halving ni nini na nini kinachofanya coins zipande kamani and all that nimeongea sana and uh, fairly enough hata nilishai kusema kwamba the best way ya kununua crypto assets cha kwanza ni uwe na long term perspective lakini cha pili tumia dollar cost averaging kwa sababu Ukisema ununue kama ambapo watu wanunua sasa hivi the chances of you losing is very big. Na I'm very sure this time around sijui kama zitaanza kushuka lini lakini take my word kuna watu ambao watapigwa losi hawatakuja kwa nini. Yaani kuna watu ambao sasa hivi baada ya Trump kuingia ndio wanaona coins zinapanda. Right now ukiangalia greed index ya cryptocurrencies it's more than 80%. Nadhani 87% yani watu wako sasa hizi watu wananunua kupita kiasi. This is not the best time for you to buy especially kwa wale watu ambao wanataka kununua eti kipanda wauze. This is not the best time. Yaani muda wa kununua uko ushapita. Kama ukiangalia kwa personal level of investment kwa ajili ya kupata matokeo, this is not the best time for you to buy cryptocurrencies. It's very risky. Although I cannot guarantee probably inaweza ikaenda kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe nilishaongea pia kupitia vyanzo tofauti tofauti nilikuwa nafanya na price analysis analyst nilitoa taarifa kwamba walisema Trump akishinda Bitcoin inawezekana kufika dola 90 au zaidi au ikafika karibu ya hapo kwa sababu is a prediction. Kama kama langeshinda kuna uwezekano wa crypto zingeshuka sana. Sasa kupanda huko ambako mnakuona we are saying this cycle ni extreme price. Sio kwamba ni kwamba ndio zimeenda moja kwa moja haiwezekani. There is no way market can end upande mmoja. Kuna kipindi ambacho kunatokea price correction na hiyo inakonga ni soon after extreme price. Kwa sababu there is no way ukakuta size kwamba eti basi Bitcoin ndio itatembeaga hivyo haitakuja kushuka. No 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 no. Itakuwa inaenda lakini kuna angle lazima ishuke. Although kwa sababu ya stability ya liquidity ambayo iko nayo haiwezi kushuka kwenda kwenye SV0 au dola 10,000 kwa sababu kweli shapita. Kwa hiyo inaweza ikashuka ikafika same flani alafu ikaanza kujitafuta tena. Sasa inakuwa ni vizuri sana kwa mtu 
ambaye anajua changamoto za kununua uh, bei za vitu zikiwa kwenye grid ya hali ya juu sana especially wewe ambaye unataka kununua na kusubiri pande kidogo uuze this is not the best time for you na sijajua kwa nini watu wanafanyaga poor analysis kwa sababu unakuta kuna mtu analysis yake yeye anasema kwamba ah bitcoin inafika 1080 sasa ludi truly ni nyuma kidogo ukiangalia kwenye chat zetu uh, mpaka mwaka jana au mwaka huu mwezi wa nne ambao watu wengesema tununue sasa hizi ndio muda wa kuvuna sasa tununue bulu linakaribia ule muda uh, nilizungumza sana kwamba kama unataka u benefit na halving impact kwa sababu kipindi kile supply ya coin kama bitcoin zinakuwa zimepungua kwenye market kwa kuna uwezekano kama demand itakuimeongezeka price ya coin zitapanda kwa sababu uh, uh, tunasema ile watu watakuwa na anticipate matokeo mazuri kwa hiyo zataanza kununua ni nisema fanya dice yako 5 months before the halving uwe ushamaliza lakini unfortunately watu hawakusikiliza na wakaanza kununua mwezi wa sasa. Sasa ukiangalia mwezi wa 4 ya mimi kuanza kununua mwezi wa 4. Ukiangalia mwezi wa 4 wakati wananunua kwa mfano Bitcoin ilikuwa dola 77 ime mpaka kipindi cha cha halving kile. Sasa ukipiga hesabu dola 77 sasa hizi iko dola 88. Ukipiga 88 gawanya kwa 77 eh times 100% ni kama ni asilimia moja tu imepanda. That's the truth. Although you are excited kwamba Bitcoin ndio lazima nini au linunua ikiwa bei gani? And that's the problem. It's not about posting, screenshotting and doing this kwa sababu hype size iko juu. How much did you buy at what price? Or how many bitcoins did you buy at what price? Hata kama tukisema katikati hapa mbona ilishuka ilikuwa dola 59. Hmm? Dola 88 eh gawanya kwa 1559. Hmm? times 100% it's only 1.49% kwa kama kwa moja na kwa dola 1140 what kind of celebration are you putting over there sasa ndio maana kitu ambacho huwa nakisisiza mara nyingi it's not about going with the vibe yani kwamba watu wanashangilia basi na wewe unaenda na hata juice nitaenza video nikasema kuna watu wameingia kununua crypto kwa sababu Trump kashinda so kwamba wanaelewa chochote wanafuta tu upepo sasa angalia <coughs> most ukiangalia kwa experience ya price correction nyingi zilizotokea huko nyuma baada ya bitcoin kupanda sana woga zina promote kwa asilimia 20 na mpaka 30 sometimes ukiangalia mpaka mwaka 2017 zilishuka kwa asilimia 84 kutoka kwenye all time high kwa sababu ilitoka dola 19 ikashuka mpaka dola 3400 eh haya mwaka juzi ilitoka dola 1064 ikashuka mpaka dola 1015 so sasa hizo 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 deep ambazo huwa zinatokea zinaweza kukuta hata wewe ukastack na crypto zako hapo afu baadaye ukapata shida kwa sababu kuna watu wengine sasa hizo unaenda mpaka kukopa anakopa sasa wewe nunue hapa ikipanda panda nauza ngoma ina una stack huko huko baadaye unaona umebanwa huna source ya income nyingine uliingia kukurupuka inabidi tu uuze kwa bei ya hasara kwa sababu kwenye crypto watu nasema kuna impermanent loss kwa sababu crypto zinashuka ila utakapouza ndio utakuwa umekula loss kamili lakini You are, if you going to wait na kama crypto iko nzuri enough to withstand the pressure ya kuuza ika bounce back then you are going to recover your money. Sasa ili kuepuka changamoto kama hizo epuka kitu kinachoitwa mihemko. Do things on professionalism level. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengine wanaona yani wanaona kama asipo post kuhusu bei kupanda ya crypto anaonekana kama vile hajui vitu au kwa sababu crypto industry sasa hizi na watu wachache basa kiposti anaonekana kama vile yani ai ai au jamaa anajua sana au dada anajua sana katika maisha ya ujasiamali epuka sana kuishi kwa ku kwa ku prove kwa watu kwamba you know something like ukaweka like you know everything like watu wengine ambao unajua kuna sometimes it's very funny kuna watu wengine wana post as if mtu ambaye hajanunua crypto ni mjinga hajielewi yani ni kama ana chamba hii so that is not professional listen this is just a venture of business and it needs the same discipline kama biashara zingine na zinahitaji sana utumie muda mwingi kujua namna gani ambapo wewe unaweza ukalift up au ukastep up kutoka sehemu ulipo kwenda sehemu nyingine lakini sio kuonesha watu kwamba hii imepanda mtu anakununua au unachelewa utakuwa then listen kama unataka kufaidika na crypto you could have already bought them fanya staking yako endelea na mambo mengine piga DCA fanya staking endelea na mambo mengine utapata interest yani uta, uta, uta enjoy cryptocurrency lakini kama ndo unasema unanunua hapa upate kesho ufurahie my friend you're going to tell me mark my words si kwamba nawatishia mimi ni crypto enthusiast mkubwa na 
mi maisha yangu asilimia moja ni cryptocurrencies lakini i'm very uh, cautious when it comes to deal with crypto especially kwenye kipindi ambacho watu wako greed mimi huwa nanunua sana kipindi ambacho fear index ni kubwa lakini unless otherwise for the time like this kwa sababu mimi nafanya investment for the long term perspective basi unakuna fanya DCA yako lakini unafanya staking kwa ajili ya kuendelea ku sustain maisha yako ukiunaendelea bei nyingine zipande lakini unless otherwise this very risky na i'm telling you again the crypto business is something like it's not a fashion kwamba ukionekana basi una post crypto basi unaonekana wewe ni mwamba unajua sana au unaanza kuongea like watu wengine ambao hawajaanza ku adopt mfumo wa matumizi ya crypto basi ni wajinga wajielewi no kwanza lazima nikwambie so far mpaka saa hizi watu ambao wana deal na crypto ambao wana own crypto ni watu milioni mitano sitini na katika hao ni wachache sana ambao wana knowledge the world is having more than 8 billion people so even 1% sidhani kama tumefika i'm not so sure kwa hiyo lazima ufike stage uone kwamba this is the stage of adoption na wala usifanye like kama it's just something like you bet p na umeshatoboa no it's having the way to deal with it lazima uwe na discipline ya kudeal na cryptocurrencies unless otherwise itakuaibisha just look at, the, at this time kila mtu ana post kila mtu ana post kuna watu wengine hata hawajawahi ku benefit chochote na cryptocurrency ila ana post tu post post yani anaonekana kwamba anajua lakini baada ya miezi miwili crypto zikianza kushuka zile charts watu wa post kimya kabisa wamepotea lakati kipindi kile ndio kipindi kizuri cha kufanya DCA lakini watu wanasubiri saa hizi kimya napanda ndio aya paramie humo no You can never benefit like that. You cannot be going to the market to buy when the greed is too high. Unless otherwise wewe ni mtu ambaye ulishakuwa kwenye crypto na perspective yako ya uwekezaji kwenye crypto, kwenye digital assets ni long term. Lakini kama ndo unasema kwamba anaingia kesho nitoboe, ah my friend, it's going to disappoint you I'm telling you the truth. Na one thing ambacho watu wengi ningependa wajue pia kwamba Sometimes it's better to understand what makes the market go up. Kwa mfano saa hizi ukiangalia Trump toka ameingia madarakani amekuwa kiemphasize sana kuhusu Bitcoin. Na tumeona uh, this time stimulus za kuipandisha bei cryptocurrency zilikuwa ni nyingi. Ukiangalia achana na Trump lakini ukiangalia makampuni mengi sana kama uh, MicroStrategy, BlackRock, Grayscale yamenunua sana cryptocurrency since Bitcoin zimekuwa listed kama ETF. Na unaweza kuona BlackRock mwezi wa November maingizo ya Bitcoin ETF na Gold ETF yameshindana. Bitcoin imezidi kidogo. Japo Gold tunajua is something that is having the largest market lakini ETF za Bitcoin zimekuwa na influx ya mpunga zaidi kuliko hata Gold. Kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho nitakiwa tujifunze kwa sababu hizo ni stimulus ambazo zinasababisha coin zipande zaidi. Na one thing ambacho nitakiwa tukijue pia ni kwamba unaangalia nchi kama uh, El Salvador. Sasa hizi El Salvador wana faida ya dola milioni na kumi tumeona jana nimepost hapa uh, if not grace scale ever my mistake micro strategy wana faida dola bilioni dola bilioni kumi. lakini hiyo yote imekuja kwa sababu walikuwa wanafanya dola cost averaging na in fact bado wanaendelea kufanya dola cost averaging kwa sababu wao wana long term perspective they are not buying ili kupata faida siku mbili wa ah, wenyewe wana ukifanya dola cost averaging nadhani hiyo course nimeifundisha ni DN Academy kama mtu umeshai kusoma dola cost averaging unakuwa na strategy yako ya kununua kwa muda fulani kutokana na pesa yako yote ambayo uko nayo kwa haunumi kwa sababu bei imeshuka wewe unapiga dola cost averaging. Kwa hapo mwisho wa siku utajua kabisa umenunua kwa kiasi fulani. Then utajionea kabisa faida ambayo umetengeneza. It's very important ku na hizi strategy kwa sababu ukinunua crypto kama unavyonunua majimbi hauna strategy ya ku maximize kwa sababu when we are talking about crypto most of the time the world of it yani wealth ya kuwa kwenye crypto ni kumiliki assets nyingi lakini lazima ujue unamiliki assets gani. Kwa watu wengi waga wanafikia namna bora ya kununua asset nyingi zikiwa kwenye bei chini lakini sio kununua asset zikiwa zinapanda bei yani bei imepanda unaweza ah mimi nanunua then what what are you going to make out of that now what percent are you going to make kwa sababu do not be excited just because the bitcoin dollar is 80 ya 88 whatever wewe umetengeneza kiasi gani ununua katika bei gani na size kwa bei gani na ni percent gani ambayo umetengeneza kama faida ni vitu vya msingi vya kuzingatia na afu hata hivyo ukiisha panda hivyo then what next kwa sababu unaona mtu anapata faida labda ya 300 au 500 milioni 3 milioni 2 then baada hapo what next succession plan unakuta mtu hajui kwa nini aliingia kwa mwemko kwa hiyo one of the thing ambacho nitatoa kama angalizo kwa mtu ambaye ni mkeleketwa wa cryptocurrencies na ni mfuatiliaji wa content zetu za DN Academy jitahidi sana kufanya approach sahihi unapotaka kudeal na cryptocurrencies try to look on the previous performance 
how it was jaribu kufanya tracking ujue kabisa possible risks zinakuwa wapi au possible challenges zinakuwa wapi lakini pia saizi angalia pia unataka ku approach kwa kutumia approach gani na position ya asset unataka kuinunua iko wapi sasa so, kuna mtu mwingine yeye anaangalia tu kununua bitcoin bitcoin na kati na kabisa uwezo wako ni mdogo na kati kuna coin nyingine ni ndogo tu ambazo zina potential na zina future nzuri unaweza kununua hizo na zikafli kuna kuta kwa nyingine anaweza dola labda iko iko na value ya dola 0.5 ikapanda mpaka dola 6 that's a lot of money utakao metengeneza au dola 5 that's a lot of money lakini lazima ujue approach ambayo unataka kuitumia kwa kuzingatia elimu na realistic ya industry ili uweze kupata matokeo mazuri na ku minimize risk ambazo hazina ulazimu I might be like a negative person at some point kwa sababu na watu wengine wanapendaga uongege tu kwamba ah mtapiga hela nunueni ah cautious is very important to practice when you're dealing with cryptocurrencies tumia approach ambayo itakuletea matokeo mazuri lakini usitumie kitu cha mihemko kwa ajili ya kuathibitishia tu kwamba na wewe unajua kuhusu cryptocurrencies it's going to help you a lot kwa sababu once you become an entrepreneur your personal decision matters the most more than the air or more than the influence that comes from the majority kwa sababu Sometimes it needs you to have the critical reasoning part kwenye kufanya decision ili uweze kupata matokeo mazuri zaidi kuliko kuangalia tu upepo unaendaje kwa sababu upepo unaweza ukaja then ukapotea lakini kama ulitumia strategic way ya kufanya maamuzi ambayo yanaangalia realistic ya industry imekaa vipi unaota ku deal nayo there is a probability ya ku minimize risk na ku maximize potential regardless of the uh, upepo ambao unakuwa unaenda kupitia industry usika kwa nyakati tofauti tofauti So that was it ladies and gentlemen na asante sana kwa kusikiliza. Kumbuka tunapewa nguvu na Encrypt Wallet moja kati ya wallet bora kabisa ambazo ukitaka kutoa sarafu zako, ukitaka kubadilisha sarafu na sarafu nyingine, kutumiana, stake kwa ajili ya kupata pass nyingine kutokana na sarafu unazo zimiliki, kucheza games na vitu vingine vingi 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 ambavyo unaweza kupata huko ndani basi tendelea Play Store ama App Store, search Encrypt alafu download wallet yako. Lakini kama ukiona vitu hivi ni vigeni kwako, don't worry. Sisi DNA Academy tu kwa ajili yako. Jifunze kwanza jiwa ku, ku analyze alafu then itakusaidia hata kama unaenda kutafuta consultant huko akupatie ushauri ni ufanye nini basi na wewe mwenyewe pia unakuwa uwezo wa ku analyze na kutoa majibu sahihi katika kufanya maamuzi yako binafsi ambao unategemea kusaidia kutoa step moja kwa step, step nyingine na sahau pia kusubscribe kwa sababu najua kabisa sisi tunatoa vyanzo vya taarifa ambazo vimethibitishwa kweli na uhakika pamoja na credibility ya hali ya juu sana kuhakikisha kwamba Unapoingia na ulimwengu unakuwa katika mazingira na mikono salama kabisa. Asante na kunisikiliza. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Chris Magno and that was my time. Ciao.